Hello friends, myself Ravi and welcome to my channel. In the last tutorial we have seen how we can implement Angular routing using router link and we have also seen how we can implement Angular routing using navigate and navigate by URL method from the router class. In this tutorial we will see what is lazy loading and how we can implement lazy loading. So without getting late, let's get started. By default, ng module are eagerly loaded. That means as soon as the comp application loads, all the ng module, whether they are immediately needed or not, is loaded. Okay. For large applications with lot of routes, consider lazy loading a design pattern that loads ng module as needed. Lazy loading helps keep initial bundle size smaller, which in turn helps decrease load times. Don't worry if you don't understand this terminology. I will give you an example so that you can easily understand what is lazy loading. So if you see here, there is a page. It has three buttons, customer, orders and home. Okay. So when this page loads, by default, the customer data should load. And if you click on orders, the order data should load. And similarly, if you click on home, home data loads, right? By default, all the modules, customer, order and home, it will load. Okay. And this will uh, cause in the performance issue because on this page, you only need this customer model to be loaded, right? You don't need this order data here, right? or home data here but what is the use of uh, loading all the data here right so if you use lazy loading you can load only the data which is needed so on this screen if we need customer data we will load only customer module if you click on this order button only the order module should load right so using lazy loading we can do this right whatever data that is needed that data will only load or whatever module that is needed that module will be loaded okay so this will increase your performance and efficiency of your application now that's all about the theory now let's get back to the implementation we will see how we can implement lazy loading let's go to vs code so first of all we will create two modules one for order and another for customer okay so let's create two model ng g m means module and name of module which is order we will also create routing file in that model so for routing file put dash dash routing so it will create a routing file into your module enter it will take couple of seconds to create the routing module with this order module. So you can see here we have an order folder. It has one routing file and one module.ts file, right? Now let's again create another module with name customer. it will create another module with name customer and it will have the routing file okay so you can see one customer module has been created with module.ts and routing file right we will also add one component to these module so let's create component ng g c customer and give enter it will create a component inside this customer module you can see there is a component created inside this customer module right in similar fashion we also want to create a component into the order module so let's name it as order it will create 
order component into the order module so you can see the order component is created into the order module now in order to now in order to implement the lazy loading we have to configure the first route into our routing file which is app.routing.module.ts we will remove previous routing that we had done so that you will understand for each module we will configure the route so first we will configure the route for customer and then order so let's add one object here we will remove all the imports that was previously used here let's keep path as customer okay and then in order to load the modules and implement lazy loading we have to use something called load children load children and then give this a small bracket and then given this arrow and then add import for the module so give import and we will add the path for this module in single quotes give dot slash and then go to the file where you have saved this customer module let's click on customer and then slash customer dot module so you have done with the import and then add then m arrow m dot customer module okay so what we have done here on this path customer the customer module will be loaded okay similar fashion we will in the similar fashion we will configure the route for the order module also so let's give path as let's say order and then again load children and then we will add the import for it import in the single quotes let's give the path as let's give dot slash and then order slash order dot module okay and then dot add then we will load the order module okay so m let's take m is an variable m dot order module okay so we have configured the path for order and customer model respectively now let's try to run this application it will take couple of seconds to run it meanwhile we will call this modules on click off button okay how we can do that we will add here same router link router link equals to let's give slash order for order and same router link here slash customer okay now let's go to chrome if you click on order you can see the routing is changing but content is not loading right and if you click on customer same the routing is changing but the content is not loading we must have done something wrong right i will tell you what we have done wrong we have configured the route to load the corresponding order and customer module but inside this customer module 
we also have to configure the route in order to load this component because this component has only this content right so go to this routing file and just add one object and here describe path if path is nothing or empty string then load the component which component we will load customer component right customer component in similar fashion also write the routing for loading the order component so here also let's add one object and give path as empty string and then load the component order component right component order component right now if I go to the Chrome and if I click on order you can see now order component is loading if you click on customer the customer component is loading right so this is how you can achieve lazy loading in angular okay so I will give one overview again first of all we created two models customer and order right we also created the routing file of the corresponding customer and order module and then in the app.routing.model.ts we configure the route for both the modules in the configuration part you have to mention the path of that module and then you have to use something called load children and then import the corresponding module that is needed uh, to load and then call this customer module right similarly you need to also configure path for order module and in the app.component.html using router link you can call this using the router module you can load this module right so we have added router link and given the path for the order and given the path for customer module and after that inside this customer module what we have done we have written a routing to load this customer component okay similarly we have done for the order also so that's how we can implement lazy loading so that's how we can implement lazy loading if you haven't subscribed my channel please do subscribe my channel to get more updates thanks and have a nice day